Norway is not what you think anymore. Here are seven reasons why Norway is going to hell and why it affects you, my dear, out there. Norwegian have become poor. Uh, rising inflation, the Norwegian kroner, our currency crashing against dollar and euro, uh, a hiking interest rates, falling house prices, our salary is not as uh, big as it used to be. The electricity. Uh, and everything has become much more expensive. The food queues are growing rapidly. And they don't look forward to Christmas. Nobody does now because we don't have any more money. Because we used to be rich. Maybe you know that, rich Norway. How rich is Norway? We and, are kind of rich. And now we are poor. Of course, if you compare us to other countries where there are poor people, we're not that poor. Because in the end, if everything goes down the drain, our government will pay for food, house, electricity and clothes. But they won't pay for our vacation. Meaning we cannot go three times a year to Sweden or down south to Spain or something. And if we go there, we don't feel rich. Money is not worth anything anymore. But a good tip for you, come to Norway now. It's super cheap for you guys if you have dollar or euro. And what's the consequences of this? Well, that's next point. Well, so why are we here, do you think? And due to the financial situation in Norway, there is a group of people that has been forced to leave Norway and they have had to become refugees in another country. And these poor, poor people had to pack their enormous fortune in an instant, running away from danger, from demands and everything. They had to run to the trains behind because they don't want to pay tax. You know, Norway is poor now, we need more taxes. And they left for another country, to Switzerland, of course. And the one who has suffered the most of them all must be our national hero, the great cross-country skier of them all, Mr. Bjorn Dale. His story is so sad. When he was a young talent, he was in a, a sporting club where everything was paid with by the tax money from all of us. Uh, we took care of him, he had the best trainers, and he really had to train and suffer a lot. And then he became the best in the world. And you know, Norway, why are you so ungrateful? Why, when he became rich and famous, had his own company, then we start demanding taxes from him. So he had to leave, because why should he pay his fair share to the community? Why should his money go to other young talents like he used to be? I mean, it's just not fair. So we understand that these rich people are there together hiding in a small Switzerland village and are really afraid of Norway and Norwegians. But if you think this was a scandal, the next one, oh, it's shocking. The Norwegian Child Protection Agency has actually been judged by the International Court of Justin Justice for forced adoption and violating human rights of families and parents uh, in Norway. And this is something that no Norwegian knows anything about. It's fake news. I've never yes, heard yes, about yes, this. because in Norway we have such trust. Because in Norway we don't want to hear this. We think it's fake news. We think it's just, uh, it's foreigners. They don't understand the system. They don't understand how great actually we are. 
But people outside of Norway, they always knew Bollywood. Bollywood made a big blockbuster about this woman, family with children running away from the Norwegian Child Protection Agency trying to kidnap her children. BBC has made a long documentary about it. You can find it on uh, YouTube. And actually, I've seen it. I'm afraid of yeah, coming yeah. to Norway because I you got should be because and in Poland and in other countries, people have marched in the streets against the Norwegian Child Protection Agency. But again, you won't find any about this news. Just small, uh, maybe some written stuff about it because no, in Norway everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. And the next... Oof. While the Norwegian people are getting poor, it's the other way around with the Norwegian state. The Norwegian state is getting fatter and fatter and is swimming in money. Of course, you say, it must be due to the oil because you know that we have a lot of oil and all of that. Yeah. That's part of the reason. And it has something to do, unfortunately, with the war in Ukraine and the war situation and war in the Middle East with Israel and all of that. Because now Norway is one of the major war profiteers in the world. Oh, we have a long history. And we have a very long history. And it's not only oil and gas, because we have a huge weapon and defense industry and we make the best weapons for war and destruction. And there's such a demand for really good Norwegian weapons I in mean, the don't world. Brand too much, uh, brag too much about no, that. No, no, because we don't want to know about that because we, we are... Uh, we, are uh, we are giving it away uh, the Nobel yeah, Peace Prize. Yeah, the Nobel Peace Prize and the, the Peace Prize each year. So no, 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 the, the weapon industry and all of that. No, no, don't talk about it. Take it under the carpet. But the truth is that Money is running in from the wars. And you know, Russia has closed their gas pipes to Europe. So, who is producing gas for Europe now? It is Norway! And oil prices due to the thing in Middle East, who is gaining from that? It's Norway! We are and a all the greedy! And all the people dying in the different world wars, who is profiting from that? It's Norway! It's people. Hypocrisy. No, it's, but... it's a seven death sin. And the next is about a growing revolution in Norway. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. This fall, a group of young people actually stormed our parliament building or congress if you like congress building as you can see Stortinget. behind us yes it's called Stortinget they attacked our uh, political representatives they attacked the government and they attacked with loud song strong colors and Greta Thunberg Ah, uh, this must be typical your way to Norway irony, you think? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's a reality because the Norwegian government two years ago was judged by Norwegian Supreme Court in violating human rights of the indigenous people in Norway called Sami, which I am one part of. The state built windmills on our land without permission and even though two years ago they were judged by the Supreme Court, they haven't taken it down, they are still there, and they are Desire. still violating our human rights. Norway, the Norwegian state, which is so morally uh, interested in other countries doing human rights uh, violation, and we do it ourselves. That says something about our politicians. Yes. Which brings us to, to the, the next, next point. point. Maybe they needed to be stormed a little bit. Who knows? Oh, but thank God. Norway is still the least corrupt and most transparent country in the world. At least we like to think so. 
But the hard truth is that, well, I think Norway is to have the most naive people in the world. And that's the truth, because we adorn ourselves with lies and illusions so our politicians can actually silently do whatever they do without us looking because we don't have corruption in Norway. But this fall and this summer, the skeletons just fall from, from out from the closet and there are now a lot of corrupted politicians, ministers what? in our current government but the greatest scandal of them all. It was oh, our Jesus previous Christ. prime minister, Anna Solberg. She was like a, a country mother and she ruled for eight years. We trusted and her. And suddenly we know, no, that uh, her little husband that was always behind her, helping her, he was doing some really bad things. Fishes Because he had an intense day trading uh, hobby. So Doing each hobbies. time uh, she, Anna Solberg, our previous prime minister, made some financial uh, things about Norway. And then, then he went to his office and they traded out of it. So both of them bec became rich on her decisions for Norway. And she's the biggest moral. Still, we don't use the word corruption in, in news and so on. No, they say it's a lack of character. No, maybe he had a gambling problem. And you know what she has promised? She has promised that if she becomes prime minister again, which she won't, and that's a scandal, I think, then sh she will hire a nanny for uh, her husband. And this nanny will watch him 24-7 uh, so uh, for the whole nanny, year. Jane. So he, he just needs a nanny and then we don't have any corruption ah, in Norway. We are all of the same. Absolutely, greedy. but the Prime Minister, that's the... Maybe they are that, corrupt you know, too. Who knows, who knows now. Uh, but for you guys, Norway is still the best place to work and live in. We have the best pension scheme, we have the longest parental leaves, we have good work-life balance, high salaries, clean beautiful air, nature. beautiful nature and all of that. <laughs> so at least foreigners still think that Norway is the best place to work and live in, right? Yeah, I want to come. But no, actually Expat Insider 2023 just shows us that the expats all over the world think Norway is the second worst country to live and work in, only beaten by Kuwait. And you might think, no, that must be an error. But no, they said, these people that you see around, we Norwegians are cold, close and unfriendly. So you won't get any friends here. You won't get any uh, network, network here. So what do they think about me behind here? Yeah, well, they are not interested in, in foreigners, so you would feel alone in Norway. And the expat says that the food is stinky, the nightlife is boring, and that what? and everything is too expensive for them. So now we are not even uh, a place, this great place for uh, you guys either. I thought it was the happiest country in the world. And yes because Norwegians still pretend that we are the happiest, the best place and everything else. And that was the seven reason, guys. The seven deaths. And sins. which one surprised you the most? Leave us a comment and give us a like and, and I subscribe. I have question. What's changing in your country? What is it? Leave that comment. Till next time, bye-bye.